Merging the concepts of multiples and prime numbers with number charts. Number charts, listing numbers from 1 to 50 or 1 to 100, are great ways to introduce students to the topics of multiples and primes. By looking for multiples of numbers, students can discover patterns that lead to the divisibility rules, making their arithmetic tasks easier. And by using a number chart to generate a list of prime numbers, students develop an understanding of what it means to be prime instead of composite. When a number chart includes the counting numbers from 1 to 100, it's usually called a hundreds chart. Here we'll use a chart with just 1 to 50 so you can see it easily. Why are these good activities to help students learn about multiples and primes? Many students confuse multiples with factors. The multiple activity focuses attention on multiples. By physically highlighting multiples of numbers on a number chart, kinesthetic learners learn that each number generates many, many multiples. Visual learners will see the multiples of a given number highlighted in the chart. In this activity, students are asked to look for patterns among multiples of a given number and then brainstorm the divisibility rules. In the prime activity, students circle each prime number and then cross out its multiples until only the primes remain. This reinforces the definition of primes and gives students an organized way to determine if a number larger than those included on the chart is prime. So how do you use a number chart to teach students about multiples? Let's start with the multiples of 2. We highlight all multiples of 2, then look for a pattern in the highlighted numbers. What's the pattern? Well, we see that the last digit is 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. So is 75 a multiple of 2? No, it doesn't end in 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. What about 78? Yes, the last digit is 8. Let's look at multiples of 5 now. We highlight all multiples of 5, then look for a pattern. Of course, the pattern is that the last digit is 5 or 0. What about multiples of 3? We highlight all multiples of 3. They make a pretty pattern, don't they? But the numerical pattern is not as obvious to students. They don't just look at the last digit. The pattern for the multiples of 3 is that the sum of the digits is a multiple of 3. We can test a relatively large number, like 48, by adding the digits 4 plus 8 to get a smaller number, 12, that we more easily recognize as a multiple of 3. Let's see how we can use this. Is 375 a multiple of 2? No, the last digit is 5, not 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. Is it a multiple of 5? Yes, it ends in 5. Is it a multiple of 3? If we add 3 plus 7 plus 5, we get 15. Since 15 is a multiple of 3, we know that 375 is a multiple of 3. You might also want to have your students discover the easy pattern for multiples of 10. Some people like to also include multiples of 6, 9, and 11 in this activity. How can we use number charts to teach students about prime numbers? We start by circling the first prime, 2, and then crossing out all multiples of 2. Then circle 3 and cross out all its multiples. Repeat for 5, for 7, etc. until all the prime numbers are circled and the composites are crossed out. This method is called the sieve of Eratosthenes. I've had to explain that word sieve to my students. They know the idea since they're all familiar with spaghetti strainers, but not the word sieve. The sieve helps students recognize primes visually, and it gives them an organized way to determine if a large number is prime by trying to divide it by smaller prime numbers in consecutive order. Here are some suggestions for using the number charts with your students. The first time I use it in class is when introducing the idea of a multiple of a number. Then we use it to explore the divisibility rules of 2, 3, 5, and 10. Soon after that, we talk about the prime factorization of a number and use the sieve of Eratosthenes to generate a list of primes. These number chart activities can be done by students individually or in small groups. Where can you find number charts? Teacher supply stores and catalogs 
have printed hundreds charts that you can purchase. It's also easy enough to create one on your own computer with a word processing or spreadsheet program. Once you make the file, you can use it whenever you need. I found that having one page with several smaller number charts is especially useful for the multiples activity because students can visually compare the patterns they discover for multiples of 2, 3, 5, and 10. There are also many images of number charts available online. You may want to direct your students to the website of the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives for online practice of multiples and primes. The website is easy to navigate. Just go to nlvm.usu.edu. The full address for the Civa Veritasthenes activity is also shown on this slide. This is what the NLVM Civa Veritasthenes activity looks like with the multiples of three highlighted in blue. I chose Show Multiples and then clicked on three. To generate a list of prime numbers, choose Remove Multiples. Then click on each prime consecutively and watch its multiples disappear. I sincerely hope you try using number charts to help your students learn the concepts of multiples and primes. This is Marianne. Goodbye. Bye.